Hello, this is Greg the Onion with a Christmas story for your kids so you don't have to read it to them and you can go do other things while I'm reading stories to your kids. So here we go. Twas the night uh, before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> Apparently these people don't live in an apartment in New York City because there's always something stirring, you know what I'm talking about? The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. They better be with care because that's a fire hazard. You don't want fire hazards in there. In the hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. St. Nicholas, for those of you who don't know, is the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the real name of Santa Claus. His name is St. Nicholas. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums, it should be onion blossoms, but we'll go with the regular words here, danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. That's sleep. He's talking about going to bed. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. I don't know what a sash is. That's an old term. It must mean window or something like that. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. It's very weird when you open your window and you see a guy in a sleigh and reindeer coming down from the sky. It's nuts. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, I'm Comet, I'm Cupid, I'm Thunder and Blixen. Now don't be alarmed, okay? Uh, He's not calling out roll call at a strip club. These are the names of the reindeer. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, out to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. The hoof is, is the foot of the reindeer. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. That's right. That's how Santa Claus uh, travels. He travels in chimneys and getting pulled by reindeer. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. It's cold out there in the North Pole. You gotta keep warm. You know, fur keep you warm. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot from the chimneys. Right? That's what's inside the chimneys. Ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes showed they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up in a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. See, it's okay to have a little extra weight on you. Santa does, and he can still fit down a chimney. You know what I mean? So don't don't look at all these skinny people and think, you know, I got to be skinny. Yeah, Santa's fat, and he still makes it down the chimney. So relax, okay? A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. That's right, Santa can fly. If you didn't know that, he doesn't always need the reindeer. It's just easier to travel with all the packages. And giving a nod, he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Then I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And that's the same here from me, Greg the Onion, and all of us at Max's Fancy Monsters. We're here to tell you have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, and a Merry Holiday to everybody out there. Good night, and goodbye.